Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to perform position specific iterative blast. This blast program is also known as Cyblast, and this is a powerful version of the normal blast program. In the regular lectures, we have talked about the word algorithm and we have also discussed it that the blast is based on this word algorithm. A word algorithm is an example of a heuristic type of algorithms and the heuristic type of algorithms usually lack the sensitivity and as well as the specificity. What does it mean by sensitivity? The sensitivity means that the ability of the algorithm to include all of the true positive values. As the BLAST program is based on the word algorithm which is heuristic in nature, so this BLAST program lack the sensitivity. It means that it can miss many true positive values during the search. Now to compensate that problem, we have a Psi blast and in this blast the search is done iteratively or again and again to find out all of the true positive values in the database. To perform the Psi blast, we are, actually, we are going to submit our protein sequence as a query to search in a database. So we will copy and paste our query protein sequence here in this box. Then we will move forward down and we will select the most appropriate database. Again in this search we are going to select the non-redundant protein database. You can select the other dat databases as well depending upon your need. Then at the bottom we are going to select the Psi Blast. You can simply hit the blast button or you can change the algorithm parameters. Right now for this tutorial we have changed the maximum target sequence from 500 to 100 to complete our search quickly. But we will not recommend you to change the by default algorithm parameters, otherwise it will disturb your results. Then we will simply click on this blast button and we will wait for our results. It may take 2 to 3 minutes to complete the search. So our job is done and this is our results. So the first round of the side blast is just like a normal blast program. Here you can actually see the results, the homolog sequences which are similar to your sequence. Now among them there could be the many sequences which are true positive and there may be some sequences which are the false positive. And you can easily identify the true positive and the false positive results by looking at the E value. If the E value is less than 10 raised to power minus 6, it means that all of them are the homologs, are the true positive values. And if E value is above than 10 raised to power minus 6, it means that these results could not be your true positive values, they could be false positive. And you should be very careful to declare them a homolog of your query sequence. Now, Let's assume for a moment that we are assuming it that there are some sequences which are the true positive uh, value, uh, which are the true positive to our homolog, they are still missing in the first round. So what we will do, we will select all of them as you can see it here and at the bottom we will click on this run button. When we will click on this run button, so then all of these sequences will be multiply aligned and then from this multiple sequence alignment, the PSSM will be built. We hope so that you would have a good idea about the PSSM. The PSSM stands for the Position Specific Scoring Matrix. Now based on this PSSM, the consensus sequence will be derived and this consensus sequence then will be used as a query and then this query will be searched in the database. Now that is going to be the second round. A second round search is, is started and let's wait for the completion of this second round. 
So our second round is done. And as you can see it here, that some of the sequences, they are going to have a green dots in front of them, while some of the sequences at the bottom, they are yellow marked. Now these yellow ones are the new sequences. Now you have to carefully see these sequences and you have to identify them that they are the true homologs of your query sequence or they are not the true homologs of your query sequence. If you still think that there are some other true positive values which are still present in the database and still they are not searched, so you can still you can click on the, this run button for a third round. Now in that third round, maybe some new sequences appear in front of you. But if in a third round, no more new sequences will appear in the search result, it means that all of the true positive values are selected. So this is a cyblast and we hope so that now you will have a good understanding that how the cyblast is going to work and how you can evaluate the cyblast results. Stay tuned with us. See you next time.